How's it going guys? Uh, today we're going over the Dolphin emulator uh, installation on Windows 10. Uh, I just recently downloaded this, uh, got into uh, Dolphin here, um, and I haven't seen an updated tutorial in a while, so I just want to run it really quick through for you guys here, uh, just so you can see how it's done, and um, also walk you through the problems I had um, doing the installation so you can avoid those. Uh, so first of all, you got to go to the Dolphin emulator page right here. Um, I'll put all these links in the description for you um, to get to it easy. Uh, but you just got to go up here to the download page, and uh, here's all the versions that they have. I just download the newest one. I don't know why they do so many. Um, and you'll click on this here, and uh, it'll download this little 7-zip down here. Uh, so you're just going to click on it to show it in folder. Um, and I'll just pop it over here real quick. Uh, let me see where to go. Uh, here it is. Uh, so you're just gonna, it's gonna follow this little 7-zip file. Uh, so you're just gonna right click on it and uh, depending on if you have WinRAR or 7-zip, uh, just depending on whatever you have uh, to extract files, you're gonna use that here. Uh, so you're just gonna click extract files dot dot dot. And what I actually did um, was I actually did it um, to my uh, desktop here. So I just have it exported to the desktop. Um, so once you do that, um, I actually have already have that done. Uh, so you're gonna get this little file right here. Um, so you're going to double click on this, and that's going to pop open with the screen. Uh, it's going to have a bunch of random files here. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to double click on Dolphin here. Um, but when you first open this, you're not going to have any games yet, because uh, we haven't actually installed any of the ROMs for them. Um, it should just be empty. Uh, but see, the problem I had here, and uh, actually a lot of my friends had it too, uh, was when you double clicked on Dolphin here, it said that a .ll file was missing. Uh, it's actually a super easy um, solution to this. Uh, you just got to go back right here uh, to the Dolphin emulator page uh, where you downloaded it. And I uh, see it says right here that it needs uh, the Visual C++ to be installed. Um, and I found that actually I didn't have it and a lot of my friends didn't. Um, and if they did, it was outdated. Uh, so you'll just click on this here. Um, and I'll actually put the link in the description too for this. Um, but it will kind of pop up with this little screen here. And you'll just hit download and just choose uh, whatever bit computer you have here um, install that and so once that is actually done uh, being installed on your computer uh, you'll be able to go back to this and double click on dolphin and it should open up fine uh, my friend had to restart his computer um, once and then it worked fine uh, so that's what you got to do here uh, so now you have dolphin uh, upset and running uh, so what you need now is to get some of the ROMs on here um, and a couple of my friends had some problems doing this uh, so I'm gonna walk through what you do um, the best site I use is actually freeroms.com. Um, it looks sketchy <laughs> when I first went to this. I didn't trust it at all, uh, but it's actually the best place to find them, and I haven't had any problems. Uh, it's got a ton of pop-ups like this down here. Uh, so just ignore those. Um, if you go to Nintendo GameCube right here, um, it'll come up with this screen right here, and you can just sort them by lettering if you'd like uh, to see like all of them. Uh, but if you can just go to most popular, and it's got most uh, pretty much all the good ones right here. Uh, so you can just click on these links here, and it will bring you to a screen uh, with the download page. Um, it actually has two download links um, on the download page. Uh, there's one with the countdown number uh, with the direct download link. So just, just don't click anything until that countdown goes down um, and hit direct download. And what that's going to give you is it's going to give you this little zip file here. Uh, depending on what game you install, um, I installed NFL Street 2 here. Uh, so it's actually going to be packed up in here, and if you open it up, um, you can see it's got this .iso file um, in this zip file, and that's actually exactly what we need. Um, luckily, it's it's really cool how they do it. Um, it's not like a folder of files you have to extract. It's just one. Uh, it's just this .ios iso, and that's all you need. Uh, so you're just going to click this extract button, uh, depending on whatever you have, and just extract it to your desktop again. Um, this is just going to unpack the zip file and give you that iso by itself. Um, so I actually already did that uh, just for time's sake. Uh, so it's sitting right here. Um, so what you can do is you end up going to want to make a file, a folder, I'm sorry, uh, called ISO or whatever you want to call it, um, and put in all of the games you want to have. Uh, so you'll go through and find all the games you want, throw them in this folder, uh, and I'm pretty soon you'll have a list, depending on how many you need. Um, just throw them in here. Just keep it nice and organized, uh, and then you can delete all these old files here. You're not going to need these because uh, they're in this folder. Uh, so you're going to go back into Dolphin here. Um, and see, I have all my games here, but when you open up, you're not going to be able to see anything. Uh, so you're just going to click on File here um, and click Browse for ISOs. 
um, you're going to be able to pick the directory uh, where you want to feed the ISOs through uh, into Dolphin. Uh, so you can go to desktop. Uh, it depends on where you saved them. I saved them in desktop. Uh, you can see this folder here called ISO. So I'll just hit select folder, and that's going to sort that folder and look through for any ISOs. Um, right here, obviously, you can see I had a, quite a bit here. Uh, so it's going to show them all here. So um, here's all your games listed. You can just click on here, click play, and you jump into it. Um, a lot of my friends had problems uh, actually getting graphics set up and controllers set up. Um, I'll go through that in another video um, if you want to check that out. Uh, it does get pretty complicated, um, but I'm going to try to simplify it as much as possible. Um, but this is just to get the games and get Dolphin running. Um, and if you can get this far, uh, it's super he easy from here on out uh, just to get the rest set up. So hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Hopefully I can help you guys out. Uh, but this was just a really quick rundown of uh, just what to do uh, to get Dolphin here.